Yo, what's going on, dude? I, I was gaming a little bit here on Fallout. I actually spent all morning playing because it's such an amazing game. <laughs> so I'm sure a lot of you guys are. But I found something very interesting. Because, the see, the whole purpose of the vaults wasn't necessarily to help humankind survive the nuclear fallout as much as it was to conduct a few series of experiments and then every vault had a different experiment that was attributed to them and we'll we'll talk about those vaults um in the upcoming weeks we'll hopefully touch in every single one of the vaults and you know the crazy things that happen inside of there and what crazy nazi experiments were being conducted in them and believe me some of them are crazy <laughs> but um what I, what had me curious in the first place was that in the beginning of Fallout 4, and I'll try not, this is, there's no spoilers here, uh, at least I'm hoping that this is not a real spoiler for you, but uh, when the people want to come out of the vault, out of this Vault 111, uh, arises the problem that apparently there was so much fallout outside in the world that they couldn't actually leave the vault because if they were if they would open the door the radiation would come in and well you know cancer <laughs> they would probably die of radiation poisoning and my question was how much of this is real if a bomb were to be dropped in Florida right now a bunch of them how much would it take for me to actually be able to leave my apartment you know are the events that happen in fallout is it real how real is it right and i mean of course we've tried we've tested a bunch of atomic bombs in real life we dropped two in japan hiroshima and nagasaki and we also have the uh the sample of the nuclear uh reactor exploding in chernobyl so based on these two samples how long would it actually take right and it's interesting because we have different um <clears throat> different things happened in these two very different scenarios is you have the bombs in Nagasaki and Hiroshima and after those bombs I mean people are living there currently if you go to Hiroshima like there's there's a 1.7 million people living there they seem to be just fine but then you go to Chernobyl and it's literally like a wasteland I mean there are games based off of Chernobyl, <laughs> where everything is like chaos. There's Fallout games literally just set on Chernobyl. I don't remember the name of the games anymore. Uh, Stalker? Yeah, the Stalker series. They're set up in, in, um, in Chernobyl. And it's crazy over there, man. You can't live there. So what, what gives? What are the differences between the two? This is the thing. Apparently, uh, there is really no such thing as nuclear fallout when it comes to traditional nuclear bombs. Uh, some scientists say that, I mean, you could have moved into Hiroshima literally on the same year the war happened. And, uh, after the explosions, of course, and you would have been just fine, right? And that's the thing. It really depends on two very important factors. One, how much payload is there in the bomb and two how far from the ground are you exploding because the thing is about nuclear bombs you don't actually explode them on the ground you actually explode them hundreds of meters up in the air and when you do that uh the mushroom cloud will just you know scatter all of the reactive components up in the air and uh, it won't really do this fallout effect that we see in the game or in uh chernobyl the other thing, of course, is how much uh, radioactive components are there in there. And this is the main difference probably between the two Chernobyl disaster and the nuclear explosions is that when you compare the two, it's not even it's not even funny. You have 140 pounds of uranium in one of the bombs that we dropped in Japan. And in the Chernobyl reactor, we're talking 180 tons. So it's not even on the same league, right? You have pounds on one side and then you have tons on the other. So <laughs> it's, it's it, you can't really compare the two. And also based on the fact that Chernobyl's explosion happened on the ground, which meant that all the radioactive, comp radioactive components were just pushed and drilled right into the ground, pretty much permeating the whole land and fucking it over, which again, as I explained before, it's different from the nuclear bombs that explode in the air. So that's the main reasoning. See, and, and that's the thing, nuclear explo if you were to nuke New York, you could live there probably in the same year, right? Like it's not, the, the whole nuclear fallout as it is portrayed in the games wouldn't happen now. 
it's interesting and the reason that I wanted to do this video because look I love Fallout and <laughs> imagine me coming out and being like see everyone's like super excited like oh my god Fallout is out and we're all just playing and this is the best thing ever and then I just come out with a video that says guys Fallout's not real okay <laughs> I mean that I would seem like a massive asshole so <clears throat> I was uh, very hesitant to make this video, but then I started reading more about the lore in Fallout, and it's interesting because they actually touch on this. They, they touch on the fact that normal nuclear bombs wouldn't really deliver the Fallout that it is portrayed in the games. And apparently, and this is something that has also happened in real life, in the, in the story of Fallout, they developed this bomb uh, that... They sacrifice the impact of a traditional nuclear explosion, you know, the, the thermal explosion, the uh, the fire, the scorching that comes out of it. They, they sacrifice a bunch of that, but instead they make it so that it purposely releases a bunch of neutrons to, again, purposely infect the land with fallout, which was the whole reason why the game happened, right? Everything that happened in Fallout happened because of this. And it's interesting because there's actually a bomb like that in real life. And it's called the Neutrim Bomb. You guys should go ahead and check it out. Don't make your own, please. Uh, it's called the Neutron Bomb. And it's cool because traditional bombs, nuclear bombs, that is, uh, they're designed so that all the neutrons and, you know, those radioactive particles inside of the bomb, uh, they're designed so that they stay inside. You know, they, they, I guess, make the thing with as much lead as possible to prevent the radiation from escaping before it is consumed in the in the explosion. This bomb, the ones in Fallout and in the real-life Neutron Bomb, uh, they construct these bombs with as little of this protective layer as possible to make sure that all of these neutrons and, like, radioactive shit goes out. So the explosion is shitty. I mean, it still will fucking kill you, right? But it, <laughs> compared to the nuclear explosions, it's shitty, but the actual radiation is crazy high. And it's cool because they actually did this in real life. Um, I don't remember exactly. What, it was like in Afghanistan or something where they were considering using one of these bombs um, to create this denial, this, what is it called? Like denial, denial of area or something. So they would like carpet bomb like a a crucial choke point in the war in Afghanistan and and they would pretty much prevent uh, troops from you know like enemy troops from walking in that particular area because it would be irradiated and the way I understood it would be it would last about a year now they talk about a half-life of of um, of existence and I don't know I guess half-life would mean that if it has a, a year half-life then it would be two years? Or I don't know how that works. Regardless, there is such a thing in real life. And that's the part that I find interesting because they specifically go out of their way to explain that this is the case with Fallout. And if that is the case, which I guess it is, it's completely possible. The events of Fallout uh, are extremely possible. And I, I was reading into the lore and I found this out and I was like, oh, finally I can make this video because I was really afraid I was going to be the that like party pooper that was going to be here like, Fallout doesn't, it's not exist, guy. It, it actually could happen. Like ba based on these things, it seems like it could totally, totally happen. And obviously you have to consider the fact that this is, oh my God, what is it, 2077? Was the year where the bombs dropped in, in Fallout? So it's 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 still a ways ahead of us. So obviously there's a lot of um, technology advancement, you know, that that would happen uh, in, in that time frame. So the technology is there, guys. It checks out. So this could actually happen, which is interesting. I just wanted to honestly, I just wanted to do a silly video talking about something because uh, I'm I'm having so much fun with this game, and I just wanted to talk about it. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll compile some, some, some lore in here and I guess make a couple of videos in the vaults because they're super, super interesting and I hope you guys are enjoying the game because I am. Bye-bye, bros.